Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about manifestation techniques that actually work. Okay, all of these techniques that I'm about to tell you, I have actually used. I do not wanna come off as like a manifestation expert. The real experts, I'll leave some of their channels down below. But for the most part, I just wanted to discuss like the actual techniques that I use, how I did it, and what ended up happening. Before we get into it, as you can see, I am in a Tesla. I don't own a Tesla yet, it's coming. But you know, I talk about Teslas all the time. Kaysen loves Teslas just as much as me. I asked a friend could we borrow his Tesla for a day just to cruise the city. Me and Kaysen had a great time. So we can go ahead and hop right into it, but this is one technique that I use, which is just physically getting in contact with the thing that I want. It makes it a lot more real. Thinking about Teslas and seeing it on my phone is one thing, you know, it helps with the visualization but sitting in it and driving a Tesla is totally different. It feels a lot more possible and in reach for me when I do that. You may have a dream house that you really want with a pool in the backyard. Go ahead and rent it out on Airbnb for a weekend. Get as close as possible to that dream house that you have. You may have a jewelry item that you really, really want, but you can't afford it right now. Still go to the store and try it on. That won't hurt anything. If there's something that you wanna manifest that you have not seen in the flesh yet, Go ahead and make that happen. Now let's move on to my second favorite technique, which is Law of Assumption. This was created by Neville Goddard and I will leave something down below really going into more detail about this, talking about things as if they already happened. Wishing for something is one thing, but just assuming it's gonna happen is another. Go ahead and speak that into existence that you already have this thing. You're programming your subconscious to get ready for what's about to come, all right? And it just feels a lot better because you know it's coming. You just have to truly believe that you're aligned with that thing. Which brings me into my next technique, which is scripting. It kind of goes hand in hand with the law of assumption. Scripting is my number one technique. I use scripting almost every single day. I talk about the life that I want to live as if it already happened. I have used this so many times to manifest so many things, but I'm going to talk about my house. We started shopping at the height of the pandemic. It was very hard to find a house. With this house, I said, OMG, I am so happy and grateful that I have found my dream home. It is so beautiful. It has a basement, a big backyard, blah, blah, blah. I will be closing on this house on this, this, this date. Everything that I wanted in a house, I got with this house. And it's all because I wrote it down on paper. I truly believe that I was gonna find my dream home. I love scripting. Now, when it comes to scripting, here are some tips for you. Go ahead and script about things that you truly believe that you can attain. That's first of all. Number two is write everything down in blue, red, or purple ink. I learned that from a website and I just went with it. I don't know why that is, but that's what I use. Blue, red, or purple ink. Something else I feel that people should do in order to manifest what they want is to connect with their inner child. When we were kids, we thought we could be and do anything. The sky was the limit. Why did that change once we started to actually have control over our lives? I'm gonna say it's because we get so in touch with reality and things don't seem as easy as they once did. But that imagination that you had as a kid, like pretending to be a teacher and playing doctor, it felt real. You have to connect to that. You get what I'm saying? You're gonna have to get back to that young version of yourself. And it's, it's easier said than done, but I just try to imagine me at like 11. That's when I really started to have dreams and aspirations to be something great. I need you to go back to believing that you could be anything that you want, do anything that you want, because you can, okay? It is possible. Moving on to my next technique is a two cup method. Now I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not saying that anyone should try this, you know, make sure you do your own research. But with the two cup method, that is pretty much jumping into another dimension. It worked, but it scared me. It scared, it scared the heck out of me. The reason is I just couldn't believe it and it happened so fast. Now, I do think that maybe it would have happened regardless. However, doing the two cup method and then it happening literally in a few days scared the heck out of me. Something that I manifested was on my first channel, I could not seem to get to a thousand subscribers. So I did the two cup method, which is where you have two cups, one that is filled halfway with water and then another one that is empty. On that first cup that's in water, you talk about your current reality. So you write it on a sticky note. 
how you're feeling and what's going on and talk about that thing that you want to change so i put down currently at so and so subscribers not monetized on youtube not making any money frustrated blah 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 that was on the cup with the water on the other cup i put on a sticky note happy finally made it to 1000 subscribers monetized on youtube so with that first cup i went ahead and just took a deep breath closed my eyes thought about how i was feeling in that current moment and then i took the cup and poured it into my new reality so all the positive things that i wanted i went ahead poured it into that cup held that cup for a minute took a deep breath imagine myself with my 1000 subscribers my money on youtube making all this money and then i drank the water in five days i was monetized on youtube so did it work yes did it scare me yes so i don't do that one anymore but i did want to mention that just in case someone wanted to try it make sure you check out a couple of videos on how to do it properly but yeah that did work i'm not gonna lie it did work another word for the two cup method is called quantum jumping just in case you want to look it up another one of my favorite techniques is being delusional so yesterday i had an interview with steve harvey i didn't but i it's coming right it's coming so i had an interview with steve harvey and he asked me how did you become so successful well, you're a best-selling author what did it take and i told him being delusional because i am you got to be delusional sometimes get out of touch with reality do y'all know that song that goes okay i can't sing but dream on dream of life is in your way you know what i'm talking about yes life is in your way stop get out of touch with reality reality is boring it is so boring you got to get out of touch with that stop being realistic Sometimes you gotta tap out of that. If you know you want more and you believe that you can have it, if you truly believe that you can have more, it's time to tune out, clock out, clock out of reality. I'm literally preparing myself mentally for the life that I wanna live. Some things may not happen. If I'm not aligned for it, it's not gonna happen. When I had 300 subscribers on this channel, I was always saying, oh my gosh, these 30,000 subscribers, oh, it's just so many people. I had, like I say, 300. I'm telling you, just try it. It's gonna feel crazy, but go ahead and try it. I did my TED talk last week, which I really liked it, but I did my TED talk. I haven't done a TED talk yet, but it's coming, it's coming. And do I look crazy because I talk to myself? Yeah. What I've been preparing myself for lately is my interview with Stephanie Perry and Sheeta's on the Loose because they're like two of my favorite YouTubers when it comes to talking about sabbaticals and stuff. My interview is coming soon with them, so I've been prepping for that. They have not reached out to me yet. They're coming. Oh, they're coming. Another thing I would recommend doing is going ahead and dressing, acting, speaking as the person that you see yourself being one day. What does he look like? When you think about that future you, what does he or she look like? What do they wear? Where do they eat? There's a lot of things that I do that represents my higher self. Recently, I got rid of three bags three giant bags of clothes because my future me my higher me she doesn't dress like that she's not wearing the same stuff from high school she leveled up and i want to feel more like her i've been trying to take better care of myself and do more skincare routines and just feel like the person who i know i'm going to end up being you have to do the same thing what does that person look like what is their routine because it's coming you got to get out of your comfort zone because where you're at right now and how you're being right now is for the you right now. Once I started to implement that, game changer. Here's a big one too. Start linking with people with a similar mindset. They don't have to want the same thing as you, but they should at least believe in you as much as you believe in you. You don't need any naysayers. With my friends and my family, whatever I say and whatever I do, they believe me. They have no doubt in me. That motivates me. You have to have supportive people around you. When you're in this season of trying to grow, you need supportive people. But I'm gonna talk about that more on my level up video because I am gonna do a video on that and just moving in silence in general. But yeah, start linking with people with big goals and aspirations just like you. All right, and lastly, understand that if it's meant to happen, it will happen at the time that it's supposed to happen. It may not happen overnight or in a couple of days, this year or next year, but it's coming. I've been trying to manifest a house since 18. I got it at 25, but I never stopped because it didn't happen. You have to keep going. When it comes to manifestation and aligning yourself, if it's meant for you, it will happen. Don't overthink it. Don't get too attached to it either. That's something I need to mention. Don't obsess over it. Just 
release it release it because it's gonna happen right so don't stress it you cannot stress over it oh it didn't happen it didn't work none of these techniques worked it wasn't time timing is everything trust me a lot of things i manifested sometimes it happened in a couple of days other times it took years when it's your time it's your time there may be some people that need to fall off before you get this blessing that job you need to leave first before you get this blessing there's so many reasons why it's not right now so don't stress about it always remember that if you want something bad enough you'll make a way if not you'll make an excuse Jim Rohn so I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope that y'all try some of these techniques at least one and if you do, please let me know how it goes in the comments or also let me know in the comments if you've used one of these techniques, which one and how did it work for you. If you have any video requests, also leave that down in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video.